Today's video is episode one in our shop tour series. We're going to be working on our Kaiser Johnson bandsaw. We chose to do the Kaiser Johnson bandsaw because it is due for cleaning and needs some maintenance. We decided to do a shop tour video because a lot of viewers showed interest and asked some questions. Hopefully we can do this and give you a better look into our shop. First thing first, let's get this saw cleaned up. This Johnson saw was built during the 70s, at a time when a company called Kaiser owned Johnson. This saw was in really poor condition where we got it. It was dirty, had sawdust all over it, barely worked. The first thing we did was disassemble the saw, stripped every part with the wire wheel and some degreaser. Then we had to rebuild the gearbox. The gearbox was toast. All the bearings were bad. The seals were bad, and we even had to build a new shaft for it. We had to rebuild the feed cylinder. All the seals were bad, and it leaked, and we had about an inch of travel on the saw itself. We had to flip this gear ring. One half was worn, the other half was new, so we flipped it. That half worked. Then we reassembled the saw, and obviously we painted the saw. We know there's a leak on the feed cylinder somewhere. Let's fix that first. There it is. It seems like it's just a loose fitting. I'm going to tighten it up. Let's test it and see if it's still dripping. That seems to have fixed it. Now I have to grease the main pivot and the ring gear. Shaft. Okay. Now I need to re-square the blade.
The saw originally had an adjustable stop. It's gone now, so we're going to make one. We've got a few touch-ups to do on the paint job, and then that'll be the last thing for this job. Most people know Dave for arbor presses. But they bought out Johnson, and they make a newer version of this saw. During the rebuild of this saw, we had to buy some parts from Dave. They have excellent customer service. Check out their website sometime. There's still a few things we need to do to this saw. It needs a new chip pan, and it needs a coolant pump, and we have to add some guards. But for now, we're going to run it like it is. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button, and hit the bell alarm notification, and keep an eye out for the next episode in the Shopter series.